so in the previous session we understood what is dns caching and how it actually works we also saw a problem where the subdomain was actually pointing to old ip address even after changing it to a new one so in this session we will try to understand what exactly happened and why is that the case so the problem is caused because this ip address actually gets cached at the isp level to avoid that the domain name server provides a parameter called ttl so ttl basically stands for time to live so time to live basically tells how far fresh is the dns record or till what time can you cache the dns record so the purpose of using this ttl is that the domain name servers also prefer that there are not too many queries for a domain name so they say that if you are going to query it less better to have a high ttl time right so if you are not going to change your hosting ip address very often then you can have a high ttl so that there is no problem about too many queries coming to your dns server because after all it also can crash if there are a lot of queries okay so a cache dns record needs to be refreshed if the value is changed at dns level so the isps check for the dns record after the ttl has expired so let's say this record was changed at 2 30 pm okay and there is like 10 minutes that have passed so this timing is actually in the seconds so if you just convert this into minutes you will see that the record is good for 24 hours so after 24 hours actually the isp will try to refresh this record so we can only check the new value after 24 hours that is 2:30 pm tomorrow's time right so for a testing purpose let's actually create a separate record test cache which points to say 3.3.3 and i'll keep a short ttl of 20 seconds okay let's go for a ttl of 60 seconds the hosting does not provide a 20 second uh, ttl value so let's go for 60 seconds so like i said the uh, dns servers also try to keep the queries at a bare minimum so that they are not overburdened with the dns queries so it allows only a maximum value only a minimum value of 60 and not below that so let's now test the value for test cache dot smarterbrains dot in you can see that it has started to point to 3.3.3 immediately right now let us just change to 4.4.4 and it should take at least a minute of time to actually reflect in your isp you can check that it is still pointing to the old ip address so we can check back after a minute and see that it should have right. so you can see now that the latest ip address has actually been reflected in the same subdomain so this is how the ttl actually works based on the ttl the ip uh, is going to be refreshed by the internet service provider so if you query after the defined ttl then it considers that the cache has expired and it needs to fetch the details again so it gets the new ip address back again all right so that is how the ttl basically works in case of any doubts feel free to drop any comments or if you need any help feel free to ask in the comments thank you